So we have a lot of money that we can do stuff with. Um, close to becoming Defender of the Faith, two nations away. Who are the last ones that we want? We could do the Platinate right now. I think that's what we'll do. I think uh, we upgrade another center of trade. We have two merchants, so we can do one more to level three. We'll probably do this one. Get more trade power in our home node. What tech am I going to be taking? Probably admin first. So we'll do admin tech cost. One of our generals left? Oh, what a shame. So we're making 36 ducats a month. We have 37% here. Let's uh, go back to collecting, maximizing profit here in Venice. Ooh, lose three more cantalism. No, that's not happening. <laughs> Austria wants their land back. Silly, Austria. Who do you think you are demanding your gold mine back? It's our gold mine now, brother. Um, Why can't I do this? Oh, we got caught. Who was the Siena? We could release Pisa. Fight Siena, release them. Um, let's go ahead and spy on... We can spy on Genoa some more. No, we're not going to be fighting Genoa. I can't get there. Spy on Switzerland again. Spy on... I guess we'll improve with outrage countries. We still need to keep doing that. So if we fought Siena, we would also be fighting Mantua and Bologna. Can we release anyone from Mantua? No. And Bologna is Protestant already. Siena is also Protestant. We would just be releasing one nation if we did that. Whereas opposed to fighting Switzerland. Um, no, not Switzerland. Yes, Switzerland is who we were going to declare on. Um, we'd be able to release a lot from the planet. We do have some inflation. I guess we can do, let's do a tax, dude. He's not half price, which yet again sucks, but it's fine. We'll declare whenever we uh, have actual troops again. Planet, why won't you join now? You're the whole reason that we uh, wanted to fight this anyway. You're part of the whole reason. Croatia, the Platinet, and Genoa. Shit, the Pope. It, this would be a super good time to fight him. 1600 though France is quite a bit in debt Commonwealth is kind of and Spain is has a huge amount of debt Siena wants an alliance um no let's get our alliance back with Alm because <laughs> Alm's the greatest nation in the game obviously and then we can also ally Austria actually does want an alliance again and they were a good ally. They helped us fight France. They'll probably help us fight Spain. They will help us fight Spain. Yeah, let's ally them. They're a little weaker now, but whatever. All right, the Platinum would join in now. Who's breaking their alliance? Austria. Why? They're hostile towards us. Austria, you know you don't hate us. Bro. We just allied. Do you really want to do this? Ragusa is now an elector within the empire. Interesting. Three more nations. Croatia, the Palatinate, Genoa, Naples. We could get rid of Cro Croatia and Naples early. Genoa doesn't matter. The Palatinate, we also 
Hmm. Let's get some quick manpower. You come up here. You... Can we get military access through you? Let's go ahead and get this before we, uh... Can't do that anymore. Then we can go ahead and declare. Almondberg, go ahead and jump in. All right, so you guys come up here. We're gonna just siege this down really quick. Wow, that is not a quick siege at all, is it? We need 15 troops. Wow, that is, is that a level? It's only level four. I don't want to eat all of Switzerland because I want them to stay alive to be um, a Protestant, another Protestant country. Because every country matters at this point. 35, we're keeping them. Um, also, that reminded me, I have something else that I was up here looking at that I wanted to do. Did it remind me of anything? I guess not, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think I want to pop this fort open. It should, no, I will, I will, we're ahead of time. Making a lot of cash. Did they break our alliance? They didn't. Cool. Nito. Is there truce with Venice and the Knights? Maybe we should start investing in some transports in our navy some more. Um, is that Alm? Rip. Alm, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't. That wasn't the plan, I promise. Bohemia isn't our rival anymore. Hmm. It's fine with me, I guess. Right, Siege of Zagreb is over. Let's uh start spying on We're gonna want to expand into Italy more whenever we actually do become Defender of the Faith and get the achievement. After that, it doesn't matter to me at all. I am fine with taking out Protestant nations left and right. I could take some land over here and start expanding into this land and fight the Ottomans, and uh, that wouldn't be fun. Is this land actually important to us? It's in Ragusa, which transfers to Venice, which no, it doesn't matter. So give me war reps and all your money. All right, let's go save these guys at this fort. Um, and then we'll go down and take care of Naples. Knock them out really quickly. Any good manufactories? Um, yes. More importantly, good state houses. Um, so, Ilians, Valais, and Albania. We have cows and naval supplies. Grain, fish, livestock, or wine. I don't get why those are better with livestock. Wow, those are really good though. With wow, that is really good. So Ilians, Valais, and Albania. Ilians, Valais, Albania. Let's build one in Albania, probably. As naval supplies. Which one of these is naval supplies? 
It's Albania. That's still not... I mean, that's a lot of sailors. That's literally so much of our sailor pool a month, but I'd rather build one of these. I think, right? There isn't already one in this state. All right, yeah, there isn't. So how our governing capacity is kind of okay. It's not great. Wow, we have two green options. Um, 50 diplo power or 25 diplo power and a lot of people like us a lot more. We'll take 50 diplo power, even though that is a lot of relations increase. Naples, Genoa, yeah. Let's take out this Naples. No. Why are you moving so fast? Just go here. Stop here. Take these guys out real quick. Probably a waste of manpower, but oh well. Oh, we can convert a province. Okay. Who's the defender of the faith? We can't claim it until 1600. Naples. How the hell did Naples? Naples, what are you doing? They're going after the achievement too. Oh, a half price guy. I think it was this one, yes. We can afford to promote people even more. He's young, so we'll keep promoting him. Same, oh, well, can't afford it anymore. This fort has taken for freaking ever to fall. Forever, I tell you. Forever, ever, ever. I should go on the voice. All right, let's uh, let's go knock these guys out now, so we can they can not be mad at us anymore, and we can ally them again. Dang, they have another fort over here. Maybe we can knock them out without taking that. I don't, is that their capital? I hope it's not. I don't think it is, it's not, okay. Don't wanna hurt them that bad. Oh, wow. So we can release Ansbach, which I believe is Protestant, yes. So we will do that. Bamberg is Protestant, so we will release them. Ingol, Ingolstadt is Protestant, so we'll release them. Actually, I'm just going to... Every one of their provinces is Protestant. Yes, it is. Okay. So we'll just release, you know, everybody. AKA three countries. Super close. Probably like one or two more months. So help the HRE a lot too, but I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to dismantle the HRE, not help it. Can we take war reps? Yes. Yeah, I don't want to ally these guys again, I've decided. Um, they're not really helpful at this point. kind of small not too strong um i i don't know if i want to say strong or strunk and i don't know why i said strong but it was incorrect no matter what who else is in this war genoa and naples well genoa is going to be someone we can't really get to unfortunately naples can be peace out right now probably 
do I want any of this land? That is an interesting question. Oh, wait, no. I have to take out their capital probably, too. Maybe not. They might just want peace right now. I could take this down here. It's a fish. Or I could take Salento and still have access to the Ottomans, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take war reps, money, transfer trade. Okay, no transfer trade. That's fine. I'd like you to stop being Defender of the Faith, too, please. So that, you know, I can become Defender of the Faith. Which one do I have a claim on? This one? Yeah. How many Protestant nations are there? 50. So if any more get eaten up, then it wouldn't be good enough. So we can't take this. We couldn't take it anyway. France would join a coalition. That would be kind of a scary coalition, honestly. Let's wait just a little while longer. Um, let it tick down a tad. What month can we renew or take Defender of the Faith? Oh, we can do it now um, if we had the money. All right, so we just need uh, two more months and we'll be able to get that. Go Trent. You knock out that army. Um, Alright, so we can become Defender of the Faith, and that should be the achievement. Next month, probably. Oh, there it is. God tier. Just for the... Uh... Where is it? It's probably down at the bottom. God tier. Become a tier 5 Defender of the Faith as a nation that is neither Catholic nor Sunni. And there is achievement number one in the books. Um... So yeah. That makes me happy. Glad we succeeded on that one. Now all we have to do is have a global hegemony, which, do I have any clue how to do that? No, not at all. Ah, oh, the spawn in England. Ew, that's disgusting. So we have to have a monthly income of at least a thousand, and that's it from here. What's our monthly income right now? 86. Or we can do this one where we have more or equal heavy ships than 250, which we have zero right now, obviously. I don't know why I clicked out of that. Or have an army greater than 1 million. That's a lot. That's a lot of army to have. This is probably the best one, though, the military one. Because it gives you siege ability plus 20%. Super, super good national unrest. Yet yeah, the military one's the best one. So maybe we go quantity a little bit later on. Um, but anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave off for today. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Uh, thank you for watching through the God tier achievement, but make sure you stay tuned in for the global hegemony achievement, as well as follow me on Twitch if you want to stay up to date, um, you know, with the things live instead of watching on YouTube. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.